But I guess I will just have to pass on the things that you say. <laughs> Rats. Okay, so Mordrena's here somewhere. Did she get lost in your furniture? Look at all this furniture, you guys. Holy moly. Okay, so you gave me editor permission. Let me, yep, and if you push down the control button, you'll see the grid on the ground and you know you're working. It's working if you can see the grid and then you'll be able to like move things. So we know that part's working. Oh my gosh. Mordrena, <laughs> oh, where do you want to even start? Oh my gosh. Okay, so if, um, all right. Oh, look at this heat. He's under construction in another, <laughs> in another house. So all the hanging lights and everything that goes on a wall is in here. Okay, so Ghost, are you the type to have a separate room for your um, your beautiful paintings of all the villagers? So do you have a do you have a a particular room you want to be your kitchen or that you want to be your bedroom or anything? Okay, okay. He says he's letting us decide, everybody out there. <laughs> SC Winter says, holy cow, that's a lot. You are not kidding, girl. It is a lot. So, okay, house flipping 101. The first thing you would do is you would go in and uh, take a gander at the house while it's still empty. Kind of see, um, you know, how you feel about the entrance. This entrance has, a, you know, an obvious focal point. The minute you come in, this fireplace is a focal point. So that's one thing you want to decide. One focal point for the entire house. And that's kind of your major focal point. And I think that would be this fireplace. So that would be a good place to put the living room gathering room, uh, great room type thing. And then in each room itself, you'll make small focal points. And uh, this is, uh, I guess I should say, my sister is the ASID interior designer, not me, but <laughs> she taught me a lot growing up about things like this. So I'm just sort of repeating things I've heard her say a million times over the years. But so if that, when you come in the front door, is the focal point then this first room would be more like oh yay yay tess is here <laughs> okay yay. okay good give tess a permission <laughs> so mordrena this first room is sort of the entrance then to get to the living room so what would you do with this first room do you think it should be like like plants and I don't, you know, I just don't know exactly, like maybe a centerpiece in the middle, like say a table in the middle that has something big on it, or I, I don't know, you know, whatever you think an entrance way would be, that would kind of then feed into this giant family room, which is awesome. And if that's, if that's the case, then what do you think about which way we go with the kitchen and the bathroom? Those are always the awkward things. Uh, let's see. If this, if this is the master, oh, I don't know. Then I, I've done it before where the master bedroom had a bathroom that was almost as big as the master. I mean, so it could work if you don't think we're wasting this space. That's the thing. It's kind of like you, you have to sort of plan things out. And that would leave the other side of the house for, say, kitchen and dining. Oh, pretty wallpaper. 
Uh, uh, you have done such a great job of picking everything out. What do you, what do you think, Mordrena, Tessa? What do you guys think about? Would you rather the master was on this side of the house? Um, that's, I guess, the last thing we have to pick is, is you know, is it the, this side for the master or this side for the master? Over here? Okay. So we're going to do the master over here and the master bath here. And of course, it'll be, you know, a sitting room, a closet, a dressing room, a bathroom. It'll all be in here. So we'll put plants. We'll do the whole bit so that you have your whole dressing room area, you know, kind of thing. So we'll really, we'll fill it out. And then um, this will be the master bedroom. Okay, I like that. I like it. <laughs> hey, somebody's bringing stuff in. We're, we're started. Okay, everybody, we started. <laughs> Are you ready? You want to go see? I know you kind of already saw, but yeah, go ahead. We're going to come behind you. Go ahead. Okay. Well, obviously, this is the beautiful front entry of your house. And I love the way they put the Magi Market lighting all the way down. It's almost like it's made a pathway for you, even though we don't quite have paths in the game yet. But I love it. And I love the trees on either side. And I do love that you got that wreath to go up there on the glass above the door. That's so awesome. And then this is, this is just your front entry, which is all really open into one big great room now. Um, now that Tessa opened up the doorways. It's kind of all one big great room. I guess I hadn't really thought about the fact that over here to the right is your master bedroom. So we might actually, you might want to close that wall off a little bit for privacy. <laughs> I didn't really think about the fact that we ran your uh, entryway into your master bedroom without any privacy, but that's okay. So you've got a couple of beds in here so that uh, there's multiple options if you feel like sleeping with a canopy or not. <laughs> Tonight, I'm in the mood for a canopy. Uh, and you've got some of your paintings in here. Oh, somebody brought the scissors in and put it on the wall. I love that. I have that um, next to like that little um, uh, sewing dummy that you can make that you would put like clothes on if you were an actual seamstress. Uh, and I'm telling you, it's so, so cute. It's like you make a little sewing corner and you put that little sewing dummy in it. And then you put the scissors up on the wall and the sword up on the wall. And it's really cute. Ah, uh, so this is the little privy, your private area. We didn't put the loo in the kitchen. <laughs> Oh, somebody fixed up the little extra front room. I, I have never seen one of these little small hallway sections with the big bay window on the front of it before. So that was a cute idea, Ghost. I like that you put that bay window on the front of a little hallway section. That's... It does. It really does. It, it kind of gives you um, a sense of unity, you know, makes the whole front of the house go together. But and yeah, you know, I kind of piled in some extra furniture at the last minute in that corner. But, you know, you did you made a lot of furniture. So I was <laughs> just trying to get it in. And oh, I do like, I do like that somebody put this over in this corner. Um, yeah, between the rooms. That's really neat. And has the nice little pink globe in it. And then over here to the left side is your kitchen. 
And I do really like the rug being in between there. So what I'm imagining is like that big Kilima rug. There's a big oval Kilima rug, you know, that would look really great there. So, but right now I do like the pal cat rugs there. You could put your, um, you could put your tan pal cat wallpaper on the <laughs> kitchen walls if you want to do <laughs> go with your rugs, but um, you didn't have to right now, ghost. I was just kidding. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, because it looks so good in the little pet room that, um, but now that we do have the actual pal cat rugs on the floor in here, it's kind of cute. Did we end up bringing the little pal cat head rug inside? Because he does have the right one, doesn't he? That people were saying they didn't get today or whatever, because he does have it. Oh, so you got yours from S6. Okay. Well, this morning it was working. Doggone it. There's a, a fellow streamer. Oh, I see it's in the pet room. Oh, my gosh. It looks so cute on the floor in the pet room. I, the For some reason, just the little, I don't know, just like the little nook that the pet room turned out to be really is cute. That's a really cute idea and I'm stealing it. And then the plant room really came along too. Oh, I love that somebody hung up the, the fish and the actual glider in the plant room. Oh, and the whale picture too. Oh yeah, because that's all nature. Oh, that looks so good. Yep. The plant room turned out really cute too. Oh gosh. Do you like the little pet room ghost? I thought that turned out cute. And I like the little garden room too. Those are really oh, so cute. I can't believe in two hours time that we moved that whole yard of furniture into the house. That's crazy. Oh, you guys, look at the kitchen with the pet wallpaper. I kind of like it. I absolutely don't hate it. I, it's so cool. It looks cute in here. <laughs> it's just kind of ghosty. And then this is the dining room. Somebody went to town in the dining room and it really came out. Oh, uh, in, in case you guys probably can't hear in the chat, but Ghost is saying, oh, wow, oh, wow. So um, PJD43, hi, welcome in. We just uh, did a house flip. This is Ghost. This is his house. And he built the house for us. He just had a one-room house, and we teased him about it. And he, he built this house for us, left it empty, and built all this furniture and had it out in his yard today so that we could come over and do this decorating. And oh my gosh, it really came together, you guys. That's so cute. Really, really came out cute. Now, have you had all of the NPCs come over and gift you the colored gem wallpaper ghost? Okay, so that would give you some more options too if you decided you wanted to put some wallpaper like in the dining room or anything and you just wanted to keep it simple. Well, what do you think ghost? Are you gonna start having parties? Uh, Prism Sophia says the house looks beautiful. You've done a lot in three months time. And now, now you have a house that, uh, is actually fitting for all the work that you've done. Uh, look at you. Okay. So did you clip those together? That is awesome. 
I love that light sticking out of there, out of the top of your frog. Oh, Mordrena, thanks for being the first one here and so much help. And thank you to everybody who helped and everybody who participated in the chat. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to go load up on arrows and go to Bahari Bay and do some hunting and maybe I'll see you guys out there. Oh, I wonder if I have what I need to make one of those buzzy jars. I bet I don't. Um, you, I don't know if you guys have ever made your own buzzy jars, but you have to have a bunch of um, green level bugs. So just like this, they have to show up as green when you put your like thing over them. And so I try to remember to save some up because I think you need three of them or five of them or something to make a buzzy jar. It's crazy. Now, I do know that if you are um, out doing the copper um, in Kilima, there are um, bugs that come out. That they're called like, I don't know, proud horn antler bugs or something. <laughs> antler beetles. <laughs> anyway, they are green. So if you're ever desperate to try to find some green level, which is uncommon, uncommon bugs that you can go do the copper mining in Kilima and those little proud horn beetles that come out, they are green. So I have been trying to get the rainbow tip butterfly for months, months, I tell you. And I am not good at it, apparently, because I haven't even seen one until yesterday. Yesterday was the first time I actually saw one. And I messed it up. I mean, I, I didn't have anything left by the time I saw it, except for just a few um, regular smoke bombs. I didn't have any sticky ones. And it buzzed out away from me and disappeared. And that was the end of that. And I cried. But, all right. It's three o'clock in the morning, and I don't have very many bug bombs, but um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and pull out a fuzzy jar and see if it leads me to anything. If you are new to the game and you've never used a buzzy jar, um, you just click on it in your bag and it starts going. And up at the top of your screen on your north, south, east, west grid thing that rolls across the top of your screen, it'll show a little butterfly. And that butterfly will lead you. To where there is a special bug that needs to be caught. And I just got the rainbow tip butterfly. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh my. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. Okay. <clears throat> so that's how the buzzy jar works. Oh my God. I have been trying for months to get this stupid butterfly related. I got to look in my bag. There it is. There it is. Rainbow tipped butterfly. That is it. That's the last thing for me in all four sets of bundles. That is the very last item. So, okay, we will get that very last thing put into the bundles and then I will get my bird. Okay, I'm going to hit the button. Woo! Yay! Congratulations! You've completed the Vault of the Gales! Yay! 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 yay. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Oh, I am so happy.